They say that love takes many shapes and forms. Since I'm still young, I cannot possibly know what all the shapes and forms of love are yet. But I definitely know what love shouldn't be. Love shouldn't hurt. Love shouldn't make you afraid. And lastly, love shouldn't make you want to stop believing in love. Good afternoon. My name is Giselle Santana Rosales, and I am the 2016 Youth of the Year from the South Omaha Boys and Girls Club. I guess you could say that growing up in the South Omaha community was very typical for me. However, things started changing when I turned five. I noticed that my dad would get very angry, very fast, and he would be very negative towards us, us being my mom, my little sister, and me. My mom being intimidated and with fear would be very careful when he was around, but he always found something to be mad about. There were lots of incidents of random violence over the next four years. My father's behavior was often bizarre and erratic, and he would constantly make false accusations at us and confront us over the smallest things. My mom would make us promise not to tell anyone what was going on in our home. I kept that promise, but I knew that our life was not normal. I became really good at separating my school life from my home life. And when I turned nine, I started going to the South Omaha Boys and Girls Club. I loved the club. I remember joining Torch Club and really liking to spend time in the arts room, working on different projects. When I was at the club, I didn't think about home. Just when I thought that things were looking up, my life came tumbling down. After years of chaos, my mom separated from my dad and we moved out of the house. After several run-ins with the police, he ended up breaking into our home, which resulted in his arrest. He had several arrests involving domestic abuse, drugs, and alcohol. When he was arrested, he was deported back to Mexico. I was only 10 years old. Over the next three years, my mom did her best to keep the three of us together. I have a great deal of love and admiration for my mom. Not only has she always had my back, but I will always have hers. And I love her so much for that. When I started middle school, I also returned to the club. It was a little daunting at first. I didn't really know anybody, but the staff helped me make lots of new friends and kept me busy with different activities. Today, I am involved in various club programs. I am a proud member of Keystone Club and currently treasurer. I am also in top the teen outreach program. I was also chosen to attend a spring cultural and leadership college tour. I, have, I was also selected to join Upward Bound, a college preparatory program. After I graduated from high school, I plan on attending college and majoring in criminal justice. My dream is to become an FBI agent. Oh, and I think I know what love is now, because I definitely love the club. Thank you for coming today.